Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Marshall live, and I am live. Heck, I'm here in the gym. Get my workout in, get these stairs in. Every single day, 123 burpees, 100 floors on the Stairmaster, and a simple workout. Now, the reason I'm sharing this video with you is because I'm standing here on the Stairmaster. I'm at 60 floors, I got 40 left to go. And I'm thinking of how fucking bored I am. Every single day, man. Wake up, come to the gym, I do one of three workouts, 123 burpees, 100 floors. It's never exciting, it never changes, it's always the same. And I think that this is one of the big mistakes that limits most people, especially people like me. If you're somebody that's like, got like ADD, or you have trouble paying attention, or maybe you grew up with a, a feeling of unworthiness, Maybe you grew up with limitations thinking that you're not good enough to accomplish the things that you want to accomplish. And so what happens is we move into scarcity mode. We move into a subconscious programming of lack. And so this is a feeling that follows us into adult adulthood, right? And what this feeling does is it makes us play small. It makes us anxious, depressed, angry, lonely, isolated. And it makes us play small. Now the reason I'm telling you this is because a lot of you have been following me for the last five years as I was a business consultant taught speakers how to get paid to speak. You know, I made my clients more than $114 million. And the one thing I, I observed during this time is that some people, I would give them the exact plan and they would go out and crush it. They'd make 100,000, quarter of a million. They'd make a million dollars. But then some people I'd give the business plan to and they wouldn't get anything. They would have to just lick their wounds and take their losses. And I started to wonder why is it that some people get massive results and other people don't. And as I'm sitting here walking on this treadmill today, I'm thinking about it and I was actually kind of proud of myself. And I don't know about you guys, Gill and Gang, but for 36 years, I wasn't very proud of myself. I didn't really like myself. And what that caused me to do in everything in my life, in my fitness, my business, my health, my relationships, everything, is it caught me to jump around a lot. I always had this subconscious programming of lack and fear, scarcity of not having enough. And so my whole life I've gone from one thing to the other. Shiny object syndrome, shiny object syndrome. And the reason I've done that is because I've always taken a weak and easy way out, which is, oh man, doing the same thing always is boring. Repetition is boring. I don't want to do that. I need, I need flavor, I need variety, right? Variety is the spice of life. And that may be true, but you've got to understand that in your life right now, wherever you're at, especially if you're a business owner, you don't need more business coaching, bro. It's like people that are not in good shape. I'm like, bro, you don't need more information. You don't need more tactics to get in shape. You know how to fucking get in shape. You eat healthy, you go to the gym and work out, and you rest. Simple. Same thing in fucking business, man. How do you make money in business? You find a problem in the market, you create a solution for it, and you fucking sell it. That's it. You get attention, you drive that traffic to an offer, and you sell the offer, and then you fulfill. It's simple. So why are so many entrepreneurs who are gonna see this, why is it so hard for you guys to have success? I don't, I don't understand. Well, that's not true, I do understand. And the reason is, is because you haven't committed to the boring monotony repetitive life that success is. You guys see the highlight reels of the top 0.01% on social media, and you think that life is all about the home run, about the celebration. But when you're living to celebrate the home run, you're gonna lose every single game. Because not many games are run and won on home runs. Most games are won on singles and doubles. And the same thing is success. So if you're not having the monetary success, that you want in business, it's simple. Do less and get more. You've got to slow down to speed up. And it just, one is it's kind of annoying, but it, it breaks my heart more than anything because a lot of you are super smart, super talented, have really good solutions. And I know you could help change the world, but you're stuck in such scarcity mode that you jump from one thing to the next, one thing to the next. You wanna know how, how I get in shape? You wanna know how I get here? showing up every fucking day and doing the fucking work. There's no secret. There's no secret. Same thing in business. How to build a multi six figure business from scratch. It's a fucking broke ass bartender, drug addict, try to kill himself. 
because I made a plan. I believed in it. I went out into the world and I found people who were already having success doing that. And then I invested time, money, and energy into them, teaching me how to do it. Wealthy and successful people call that collapsing time. How can we collapse time from where we are to where we want to be? So I don't know what's not going right in your life right now, but I can almost guarantee you that a little focus and some consistency will fix it. What it really comes down to is reprogramming your subconscious mind from toxic limiting patterns to ones that will reinforce the desires that you want to manifest. And once you reprogram subconscious mind, your body, your body and your mind just become a receiver. And you want to talk about the law of attraction. That's where it comes in. All right, 15 floors left. Let's get after it today, Gillen Gang. Remember, like Bruce Lee said, I don't fear the man that practices 10,000 kicks. I fear the man that practices one kick 10,000 times. It's about self-mastery, baby. Go get it, gang. I love you.